I was an activist when I was in Iran, when I was young, uh, together with many, many other Iranian young people. And, um, but I was one of them who could flee from Iran um, some years ago, 34 years ago. But uh, a lot of my friends and my uh, two younger brothers um, were arrested and uh, put in prison. Uh, many of them were um, executed, included my, my young bro brother who was just 17 years. Uh, but I could flee from Iran uh, and um, have been in Sweden in many, ta many years. Uh, but 2000, I, I, I tried to ignore all um, the feeling I had because it's, uh, it's not normal life that, that your brother who, uh, who is younger than you uh, and not uh, as active as you be executed but you, you are alive. And I was one of them who, um, uh, who tried to, um, to uh, um, how can I say, I was one of them who uh, say to Rostam that come to our organization. So I had, um, I, I felt very guilty about that. Uh, but I ignore everything because I couldn't do anything uh, for, for this. Uh, but 2009, when um, I, the, the new generation after the um, election in Iran, it was 2009, uh, so they, uh, a lot of people came out to the street. They, it was almost four million young people in Tehran, just one city. And I saw how they were arrested, how they were put in uh, jail, and uh, how they were dead in front of camera. So I couldn't, I just felt, um, it was like a repeat of uh, my situation 30 years ago. So I thought it, I couldn't ignore the problem anymore because I saw that yeah, my, maybe my nephews uh, and my uh, young sister was um, uh, among them. So I couldn't just ignore everything. So uh, it took me 30 years, uh, took me back to 30 years ago when I was activist and I thought I have to do something. I have to uh, find um, the through about what happened with my friends in prison and what happened to my brother because it was very hard to to think even uh, if he was tortured or, or not. I just wanted to think that he was executed, that it was finished. I, I d didn't want to know anything about before he was uh, um, executed. Uh, but at that time, I, I felt uh, responsibility to um, my people. I have to find uh, some friends uh, who were in prison at the same time as my brother and um, to know what happened, uh, what, what the Islamic regime did with our, our young people. So it's, it was why I began with the film. Many, many people outside uh, Iran think that uh, Iranian women, they are um, just, um, we can see just them in a veil, nothing more, but uh, Iranian women are very, very strong and very well educated, so they know uh, they write, but, um, but they are stopped by the, by, uh, by the Islam and the regime. So uh, it was important to to make this film about the women because they are, all people in Iran are, are under oppression, but the women are double or more than double under oppression because when they came to, to prison, they were put in prison, they were also raped. They, uh, some of them had their children in prison with, with them. Some of them, they, they get burned, uh, birth to uh, their children, so uh, they have to take care of them also at the same time as they were tortured. So uh, it was um, hard. Uh, but another reason that I have just women in my film uh, is because when we were activists, we, uh, we worked together, all women and, uh, and uh, men. But so in, in small groups, it was uh, just, in my group, it was just women because it was easier to work. Uh, um, this is, it was secure.
to, to work just with the women, women. So my, my closest uh, friends were women. So it was that way. I think religion is something very private uh, for me. So uh, I respect people's uh, belief. It doesn't matter if they believe Marx or Engels or uh, Islam or if they are uh, Jewish. It doesn't matter as far as they don't hurt other people. So it's uh, in my house, in my family, we, um, my dad and my mom, before the revolution, they, uh, they pride. So it, it wasn't uh, any big deal. It was a, a, a um, part of their life. Uh, and they, do, they didn't talk about that. Uh, but after revolution, my dad and my mother and the whole family, they stopped to to pray because uh, they, uh, they thought the Islamic re regime took their son's life. So they didn't believe God anymore. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't want, I don't believe Islam or any other religion, but uh, I think now when Islam, um, they use religion to oppression other people and religion has been a law in Iran so if if you if I make a film about uh, doesn't matter what they have to control everything if it's again the religion or not so they they will stop it so my my point is that uh, um, some some people in Sweden uh, I try to to use that that I'm against religion and my films, and they use it, it uh, against people, um, against uh, refugees maybe in Sweden or other countries. But it's wrong because I, I don't. I'm afraid to um, to see that religion and Islam is has been so big in all countries. So it, it's it's not good. Uh, but I don't want a pr it's their people people's private uh, beliefs so you can't uh, oppression them because of that in other countries.